This morning, the redacted Mueller report was released and you can already hear the goalposts moving because as we've known for a long time, no collusion, no obstruction. If I want to be fair, I can quote the report and say, maybe obstruction, but not a crime. They didn't really draw a conclusion, but in reality, it just ends up with, yeah, nothing really came of this. Now in the report, there's some interesting information and some interesting insights, but the report is massive and many people are now digging through it to try and find whatever they can to either smear the president or smear the investigation. But there's one group above all that looks the absolute worst in this, and it's the media. Because for years they pushed this nonsense, and now they just look damn silly. Today, let's take a look at how the media is made to look really, really bad following the release of the redacted Mueller report. But I also want to point out how nothing is going to change, and the partisans are just going to keep on trucking along. But before we get started, make sure you follow me on Minds at Minds.com slash Timcast, where I'm hoping to break 100,000 subscribers with your help because I want to be on a platform not controlled by the massive tech monopolies, just kind of as an alternative. If you want to support this video, just share it on social media to help spread the news. Well, the Mueller report is out. And as we can see here from the Daily Caller, it directly contradicts BuzzFeed. Yes, BuzzFeed claimed that Cohen was directed to lie by the president. And then Cohen testified that wasn't true. But then BuzzFeed claimed it was true. And now we have the report. And boy, does BuzzFeed look silly. They say, special counsel Robert Mueller's report on the Russia investigation directly contradicts an explosive BuzzFeed story that claimed Mueller had evidence. President Donald Trump directed Michael Cohen, his former attorney, to lie to Congress about a potential Moscow real estate deal. The January 18 BuzzFeed story claimed that Cohen told the special counsel that after the election, the president personally instructed him to lie by claiming that negotiations ended months earlier than they actually did in order to obscure Trump's involvement. The story claimed that Mueller's office learned about Trump's directive for Cohen to lie to Congress through interviews with multiple witnesses from the Trump organization and internal company emails, text messages, and a cache of other documents. Cohen then acknowledged those instructions during his interview with that office. BuzzFeed touted its story as the first known example of Trump explicitly telling a subordinate to lie directly about his own dealings with Russia. But Mueller's report states, quote, Cohen said that he and the president did not explicitly discuss whether Cohen's testimony about the Trump Tower Moscow project would be or was false. And the president did not direct him to provide false testimony. Cohen also said he did not tell the president about the specifics of his planned testimony. The special counsel's report concluded that while there is evidence that, quote, that the president knew Cohen provided false testimony to Congress about the Trump Tower Moscow project, the evidence available to us does not establish that the president directed or aided Cohen's false testimony. And unsurprisingly, BuzzFeed spokesman declined to comment to the Daily Caller. Yes, because following a statement from the special counsel that BuzzFeed's story was wrong, BuzzFeed doubled down and said, nope, we're right. We're, we're totally right about this. And you know what? For years, they all claimed it was going to happen. They said, Trump, Russia, possible collusion. That was the song that went viral. It was what they kept saying over and over again. And nope, not there. You were all wrong. BuzzFeed tried to defend itself. But now we're learning once again from the report itself, they were wrong. The story goes on to say that Anthony Cormier, one of two reporters on the story, told CNN two days later that BuzzFeed remained 100% behind its reporting, saying, I have further confirmation that this is right. We are being told to stand our ground. Our reporting is going to be borne out to be accurate. And we're 100% behind it. And BuzzFeed was 100% wrong. Not only did the special counsel refute it at the time, but now according to the report itself, they were wrong. Why would they stand behind this and why should anyone trust them now? Well, the Daily Caller certainly wants to dig its heels in and rail against the media because they got another story. Media members call CNN's coverage of Mueller report release, Barr's press conference, a quote, meltdown. Members of the media took shots Thursday at CNN for their coverage following the release of the Mueller report as well as for their reporting throughout the 22-month investigation. Greg Gutfield said, Watching CNN is like peering in through the window of a group therapy session in which everyone keeps saying they're over X, but they can't stop talking about X. Glenn Greenwald said, I've honestly never seen the type of media meltdown that I'm seeing on CNN. 
They are so emotionally invested in the storyline that they've been pushing for two plus years, and they know what Mueller did to it and how this will forever reflect on them. But a few days ago, we saw an opinion piece in the Washington Post that probably sums things up a little bit better. They say, admit it, Fox News has been right all along. Greg Abernathy, a contributing columnist for The Post and a freelance writer and former newspaper editor based in Hillsborough, Ohio, said, Throughout most of Southern Ohio, residents who watch cable news are predominantly glued to one channel, Fox News. People there don't watch Fox News to know what to think. They already know what to think, and they avoid news channels that insult their intelligence and core beliefs. Yes, Fox News is an echo chamber for the right, but no more than CNN and MSNBC are for the left, as far as conservatives are concerned. To be fair, when a Democrat is in the White House, the networks switch places, with Fox News criticizing every move and MSNBC and CNN defending the Oval Office fortress. But for now, while partisans on the left may quibble, the fact remains that on the subject of collusion with the Russians by President Trump or his campaign, Fox News was right and the others were wrong. For at least two years, MSNBC and CNN devoted hour upon hour, day after day, to promoting the narrative that Trump colluded with the Russians and that special counsel Robert S. Mueller III was going to prove it, that turned out to be wrong. But you know what? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Because many of us know the media pushes nonsense, but here's the front page of MSNBC.com as I'm filming this video. Mueller report shows President Trump tried to remove special counsel. Sure, there's a lot of interesting information in the report, and these stories are going to continue to come out. But in the end, no collusion, no obstruction. What we're going to see now, what we're going to see now are partisans on the left claiming there actually is something here. There is evidence, but it's Trump's government. It's a cover up and we must arrest Bill Barr. But don't take my word for it. Seriously, just pop over to Twitter. And while I often like to stress these people are not the most notable people in the world, they're actually saying, yes, time to arrest Barr. One person says, if you want a good laugh, throw arrest Barr into the Twitter search bar. Yes, because there's a lot of people saying arrest Barr for obstruction, lock him up, arrest Barr, Co corruption, spelled wrong, arrest Barr, arrest Barr, he's a Russian, LMAO. While certainly some of these are pointing out the absurdity of trying to call for Barr's arrest, there seriously are people saying that Barr should be arrested. And beyond that, they're saying this is enough now to impeach Trump. They're saying you don't need evidence of a crime. You simply need something to show a lack of moral character or for Trump to be removed for not being fit to hold office. Yes, impeach Trump over and over and over again. Everybody just wants Trump impeached. Well, again, some of these tweets are people mocking the idea that Trump should be impeached. There are a lot of people saying, like to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, impeach Trump. Mueller didn't leave it up to Barr to determine whether the president committed obstruction. He clearly left it to Congress. And then we have this one from a Fox News reporter. Eric Swalwell is calling for the resignation of Attorney General William Barr. And of course, I hope you all realized it wouldn't end here. Top Democrats call for Mueller to publicly testify before Congress because nothing matters. It really doesn't. This is a partisan fight and 2020 is here and this is the way things are gonna be played. The Republicans will point out, like Mark Levin does, President Trump, his family, his staff, his campaign never colluded with Russia. The president never interfered with the investigation. In fact, he gave unprecedented access to staff and documents. He never asserted any privilege. Thus, entire Democratic press effort to ruin this president has been exposed. Now it's time to investigate the true perpetrators of this coup attempt and for we the people to hold the press to account. You'll end up seeing MSNBC, Chuck Todd say, no, no, this is collusion where Daily Mail reports, Chuck Todd has a meltdown over reports the White House has been briefed on the Mueller report. The TV host said it would be shamelessness and hubris if the Attorney General's office had briefed the White House on Mueller's findings, as has been claimed. He said impeachment hearings would have taken place in Congress if a Democratic president such as Barack Obama had tried anything like this. A redacted version of Mueller's report is due to be released to the public today. BuzzFeed tried to maintain their fake news. They defended it and they were discredited more than once. The media is desperate to maintain their ratings, but Fox News is doing fine. An op-ed from the Washington Post has admitted Fox News was right this whole time, and they were. Media ratings are down, layoffs are here, and the Mueller report is one of the biggest hits to the credibility of the media. Yet interestingly, you still see organizations rating these news outlets as credible when for years they pushed this nonsense. 
While some will defend them saying they were just reporting on what was going on, I'd like to say one more time, because I mentioned this in another video, if someone accurately reports on the circumstances of a conspiracy theory that leads us to a conclusion that all of it was fake, they essentially wasted our time. And the analogy I used in the last video, if I hire you to carry bricks for me and you lift them up, correctly carry them for two miles in the wrong direction, you're not worthy of any awards and I'm not going to be happy with your job. I get it. You worked hard. You carried those bricks. You did it right. But you walked the wrong way. Why should we be happy about this? We shouldn't. But unfortunately for all of us, they're never going to stop. It's going to keep going. So you know what? Whatever. Welcome to the news cycle and welcome to 2020's presidential race because campaign season is here and they will never let it go. And I'm willing to bet they use all of this as we move into Donald Trump's re-election campaign. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. You can follow me on Minds at TimCast. Stay tuned. New videos every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll have more videos for you on my second channel, youtube.com slash TimCastNews, starting at 6 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time.